Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I am going to continue on this vein of using uh, my show to show you some gadgets between the shows where, oh, I just knocked everything down um, on radios and scanners and stuff like that. Uh, this morning, I'm going to show you this new weather station I got just the other day. I got it from Banggood. It's twelve dollars and free shipping. It did come from their China uh, warehouse, which took about four weeks to get here. And I made a big mistake. Eh, not a big mistake in this case, but a, it could be a big mistake. Is one thing you have to do about shopping on the internet. You have to check the size of things. I still got this crooked. Um, because typically what they will do is they'll show a picture in an environment where it looks bigger than it really is. And that was the case with this thing. So this is a little weather station. It turns out <clears throat> the size is ideal for where I want to put it, but <clears throat> it was not the size I thought it was. So let me show you this little thing. Let me zoom in here. <clears throat> okay, number one, I thought it was about four times the size it is. This It's only this big. There's my hand. Completely covers it up, so it's about the size of my hand. I thought it was four times that size, but turns out where I'm using it, it's a good size. I'm using it between my monitor and my keyboard, and the purpose being mainly to have it display UTC. I, I don't know why it is I struggle with UTC. One of the main reasons I struggle is because of stupid daylight savings time. They keep changing the time twice a year. Why? It just it makes no sense. I, oh, well, I don't want to go on there. I'll just, I'll just get upset and I'll lose my voice. Anyway, that's one of the things I'm like, is it minus four hours or minus five hours my time from UTC? Uh, blah, blah, blah. So I got, oh, it turned that on. Sorry about that. I uh, So I got this, and it gives me a nice clock that fits right below my monitor. So when I'm looking at, for instance, a shortwave schedule website, which usually they give their times in UTC, I can look at this guy, guy here and say, oh, yeah, that show won't be on for another hour. Okay. Instead of trying to do the math, which is straightforward if you know if it's minus 4 or minus 5, in my case. Okay, so, so much for that function. Here are the other things that kind of caught my eye. Up here is an icon of the predicted weather. How they come up with that icon I have no idea. I believe this thing only measures humidity and temperature. So how they get a prediction of weather from that, I don't know. It's not, to my knowledge, it's not hooked up to the internet, so it's not getting it from the internet. But anyway, and then down below that, there's a little spot right here in between these two, which is supposed to show you an icon indicating comfort level based on these two numbers. The problem is it has to be within a certain criteria of these numbers for it to show you any icon. And it's got about five different ones it shows. So right now I'm not in that range, so it's not showing me anything. Below that is a temperature trend, which is readings over I'm guessing last six hours, so you can kind of see it was high, went down a little bit for a while, and now it's going back up, which makes sense because um, during the night, our air conditioner is set to go up in temperature, conserve some energy, so the temperature in this room will go up, and then first thing in the morning, it will come back on, it will be set lower to cool things back down, and then as I come in here and get lights on and stuff like that, 
it goes back up. So that's probably correct. It's showing 49%. That's pretty close to what the humidity is in here. It's showing 84 degrees at this area right here, which is pretty accurate because on an average, it's about 84 to 86 degrees in this room. When it's 90 outside, which it is at 9 o'clock this morning, it's 90 degrees, or actually 950. Well, 1350 UTC. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so 12 bucks. whoops, uh, from Banggood, free shipping from their China warehouse. Got a bunch of buttons on the back to set things up, the temperature, and I think it even has time on here. I mean, excuse me, not, not time. Uh, not set up temperature, set up time. Oh, struggle with these shows. I just don't understand. Oh, it also shows the date, which is kind of hard to read. Let me get something even smaller. In. Yeah, let me get something even smaller. Right in this area between the time and the temperature and humidity is a bar with days of the weeks, and it highlights the day it is, So, which is Tuesday right now. I don't think you can show, well, possibly you can show the date if you push some buttons in the back. All buttons for the controls and everything is in the back. They're a little hard to get to, especially where I've got it put right now. Now, it runs off of three AAA batteries. I believe it's three AAA. Well, three batteries, AAA or AA or something. I don't know. Um, but if you're only using batteries, the display only shows up when you push the uh, button on the top, I believe. Yeah, on the top. So it's it's darkened when you're not when you're only using batteries to conserve your battery power. You, it's also got a USB cable, so you can connect it to USB, and then the display can be on all the time, which is what I want. So it's working pretty good. It's um, made by D-I-G-O-O. -O. They have come out with a bunch of products, a bunch of little weather products. Uh, I bought something the other day. I forgot what it was, but it's another little gadget. And they're 12 bucks. I mean, I can't believe. It is amazing what these guys over in Asia do. They put all this stuff, and they charge you 12 bucks Now, a similar one to this on Amazon is going to cost you about 25 or 19 So that's the advantage of Banggood. And GearBest is another one. That's a, there's several of them. But it does, in general, it'll take a long time to get it, four to six weeks to get it, to the United States, for instance. Um, Banggood, on their website, has a listing of products they have in the USA, which you can get in two to five days. And then the other listing, which is their biggest inventory, is from China directly. So that's the way it works. I, um, I think that's about it. So uh, I got what's coming up. I have a SDR Play 1 uh, SDR coming. Now that one's a pretty, fairly expensive. It's about $125. They've just come out with this year a version 2, which has a lot of added features. It's $199. So I've got the, since they, they put the version 1 on sale this month for $99 plus shipping. The shipping to the United States is $20. So it's $120 or thereabouts. Um, that's coming in, I think, this week. So that'll be interesting to uh, play with that SDR. It's supposed to have, I think, a bandwidth of 10 megahertz. Yeah, I think that's what it is. That would be fantastic. It would be able to watch a swath real time of 10 megahertz. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. So that's coming up. Um, I 
Oh, I want to show you the gadget that was playing when I started this show, and it's something that I reviewed, but again, it's cool, and I think it was $7, and that's this little radio here. It will, I've reviewed this, so I'm not going to go into too many details, but it's an AM, AM, oh boy, it's a medium wave FM MP3 player. I'll get out in a minute. Eight o'clock. It's off right now. Uh, I had it hooked up to a uh, USB port because the internal battery had died because I had let it set for about three months. Here's the port for a TF card, and then here's a port for a full size USB card. And so this was the card I've been looking for. I was, I did a review of another item like this and I couldn't find this card and I, when, I, when I picked up this radio because it was down behind the station I saw all the cards were there because so there's my card with all my free music from YouTube on it pretty neat it does have it does have a internal battery which you can charge using the USB port. Speaker is on the back. It's mono, of course. And it's got a little telescopic antenna. Pretty cool. And it was on sale. Uh, I think I got this on from Amazon for six ninety five, free shipping with if you had Prime. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, a little thing, a little little thing about. Amazon and Amazon Prime, they're supposed to be having their Prime days or what do you want to call it, where they have things on really, really on sale for Prime members. Well, I went through it for about an hour this week, and I really didn't find any super, super deals. Yeah, they were heavily discounted, you know, 20 to 40 percent, but they were discounted from their original original manufacturer's price, <clears throat> which made it maybe a 10% discount. So I think I couldn't get too excited. And uh, the advantage of getting these gadgets from an overseas supplier is they're heavily discounted. They don't have the big markup. And like um, Banggood, and gear best, it's free shipping, so you don't get clobbered by the shipping from overseas. Anyway, that's the show. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day, and in my case, try to stay cool. It is really hot here in Florida. Bye-bye.